All right, so if you're looking at charging your Tesla or any other brand car, this is the Endymage charger. It's the most budgeted one that you can find on Amazon. And this can charge up to 32 amp. And that's the maximum charging you can get. And it is the level two fast charging. So you have to connect it to 240 volt outlet. Usually you have it in your, um, not in the garage, but you go inside the washer dryer. So dryer plug is usually 240 volt. You have to make sure that it actually is the same as your dryer and you will be able to connect this there. But what we're gonna do is a little different. We're gonna use the Cybertruck to power because it has a 240 volt power share port in the back, in the bed. We're gonna charge the Model Y long range there, uh, or we can choose this one. Uh, we'll do any mini. I think where the charger port is, that's what matters the most. So uh, this is not the charging port here. We have the charging port here. So let's charge this one from the Cybertruck and let's see how that goes. Does this cheapest one from Amazon, the mobile charger, pushes enough charge, enough juice to the car or not? Let's check it out. So in the Cybertruck, you have the port at the bottom. There are three ports. So the two ports at the top, they are the 110 volt ports. So you don't want to charge from there because it's going to be slow charging. But if you go to the 240 volt power, which is the highest you can get, you're going to be able to get 32 amp. And uh, fingers crossed for that because we are using the most budgeted charger for EV from Amazon on this case. And I have the link in the description for you guys. So we're going to get some commission from these videos. I just want to stay transparent. That is for the Amazon affiliate. So if you do that with the link, really appreciate that. So now let's connect this here. Perfect. So this is the one where you want to be connecting and you can see that it's already getting the 240 volt notification. Right now we are not pushing any charge to the car so it's showing the 0.0, .0 amp and 0 kilowatt hour which is pretty good that it's reading. I know the refresh quality is going to be a little different because of you can't see it on the screen. Uh, we'll try to match the refresh rate see if we can show that or maybe include a picture to show the stats. Uh, but that's because of the refresh rate being different. So you see all that crazy thing going, right? Okay, now let's connect this one. But the thing is, this is J1772 connector. So you will need this that comes with the Tesla. Every Tesla has this in the trunk when you open it. And we're going to be needing to connect this right here. It goes like this. Oh, the other way. Or this way. Some way. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's already connected. I have two. Wow, surprisingly. Maybe I was preparing for the video, didn't take out the other one. So I was wondering what's going on. Maybe it's too late for the day to be making video. But these are the two, two connectors. One comes with a Tesla, other one came with my another Tesla. Uh, becoming almost Tesla family now with all these Teslas parked outside. People started calling me the Tesla guy. Uh, I don't want to be a fanboy, but I mean, I don't have any option. So this thing right here, it goes in here and now it's ready to be plugged into your Tesla. But if it is like this, without the connector, this is for any other car with like, um, you know, if you have a Polestar 2 and any other car can be connected with this. But Tesla, since it's a different connector, you need this. Okay, now we're gonna go towards the Model Y and charge the car. The good thing about this is that the cable is 25 feet long. So you can almost come all the way down here and charge a car. So we're gonna be charging this right here. The port's not gonna open because this is not a Tesla charger. So you're gonna to have to manually open the port. So I'm gonna go in the app for my car and I'm gonna open the charging port. And when the charging port is open, you can just connect this. And you see the blue light is blinking and now it's taking the charge. So this is now perfect that it's taking the charge with the most budgeted charger from Amazon. And we're gonna see how much charge are we getting. So one thing we can see here in the cyber truck, how much charge is going out. So in the cyber truck, if we see, we have this option right here that you go into the outlets and mods, and you can see that it is pushing out the full 7.4 which is equivalent to 32 amp. So this charger is doing great that it's pushing out 7.4 kilowatt to the Tesla Model Y. 
And now I'm gonna go in the Tesla Model Y to show you what's going on there. Oh, sorry. I almost broke my window. Okay. And here, yes, it is success. We have the full 32 amp out of 32 amp. And at the economical price that you can get, um, I'll try to get a discount code from the seller if I can get, and I'll put that in the description too. Yeah, it's gonna take about five hours, 10 minutes to charge this. It's at the 51% battery, and the charge is coming from the Cybertruck. So this tells me that it is a pretty good charger, that it is taking the charge from the Cybertruck to here. And now I'm gonna go and see on the charger screen, what does it say? So, okay, so now we can see that it is charging the Tesla Model Y from the Cybertruck bed and uh, it is going over there and 25 feet long cable. It is pushing 229, 228 volt out of the charger to the Tesla Model Y and it is pushing 32 amp, which is the good reading there. And it's pushing 0.29 kilowatt hour, which is in the kilowatt. So you can do your math there. But 32 amp, that's what I'm concerned about. And it is doing the fast charging, which you're supposed to get, but not supposed to get from this budgeted charger, which will save you a lot of money. So go in the link in the description and buy that for yourself. You don't have to buy the expensive chargers to just charge your car. So. That's all I have from this video, guys. Um, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.